the 10 minute drill. This is a big one. Covered by Universal Roof and Contracting. The difference is universal. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right. Sports concepts Woo. and rationalizations coming your way. We call it the 10 minute drill. And we're doing it uh, right now. We're going to kick some things around. Look, um, NBA is going to approve their plan today. Yeah. So that's all but done. It's you going know. down. Yeah, it's They're going doing down. It. It's happening. And their plan is to start at the end of July, which is still a little surprising. but And it includes 22 teams. Uh, Dan's Knicks, Jeff's Hawks, Beef's Bulls, all uh, not making the cut. Yeah, we talked about it yesterday with Keith Smith. It's, it's like it's an unbalanced yeah, nine teams from, nine the, from east. the east, so it's the eight that are already in the playoff field. The Wiz get a few games, and, the Wiz and then they'll get an go extra, home. Yeah. yeah, if they can get within four, and then they'll do the little playoff play down. Is that what see. happens? Yeah, yeah. I think that was the deal. If they're within four, then you can have that little mini tournament for the final seed. But if you're not within four, then they just cut it at eight, and it's and it's go time for the playoffs. Right, right. So anyway, that's uh, uh, that's coming up. And that it will be approved around uh, noon today, I believe. Yeah. So, anyway, here comes the NBA. That's coming back. And then there's the story. Uh, oh, the MLS has also gone ahead, and they worked. They were going to stop. They weren't going to play this year. And, uh, you know, I don't think there's a ton of MLS fans, but the MLS will be back. Right. I don't want to just ignore them. It's yeah. not my jam, but yeah. there's a lot of soccer fans that are thrilled that but the MLS has come back. Then there's MLB. And uh, the, the, they said no. We're not doing this 114 game deal, and we're not going to even give you back another counter proposal. <laughs> I mean, it's it's bad, dude. It's bad. So I don't know where uh, you hear different things. Like I keep hearing that you know, oh, it'll work out. Well, and it might, but it's June 4th, and the clock's ticking, man. I mean, you. I'm sure you saw the tweet from Joel Sherman. Yesterday, Mm -hmm. after it was shot down, Joel Sherman, who's uh, with the New York Post and MLB Network, said, quote, I have heard greater pessimism today from folks on both sides about MLB launching a season than at any point. People who previously thought the sides would find a way now expressing at least greater doubt often more than that. And uh, if we review, you know, baseball starts end of March, but really April, 30 games, May, 30 games. Uh, that's 60 that are gone right? if we stayed on task. Yeah. And baseball's not like the NBA. We can't really push it into Christmas time. No, and that was what was so dumb about the players' proposal. It was 114 games that would start at the end of July. Yeah. When are you going to get them in? Yeah. Can't really push it too far down they the road. They said the, 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 like the season would end October 31st, which means the playoffs would start yeah. in November. Start! Yeah. yeah, start. With 14 teams now. Yeah. <laughs> so then we're going into December. What are we doing? And then we're not playing the World Series, obviously, in the home stadiums. No, we'd we're going to have to go to like, neutral sites yeah. in Miami. Stay down there or wherever we're Arizona. going. Arizona. Yeah. So, I, listen, it's, don't kid yourself. When it comes to baseball, it truly is all about the cash money. Um and and it just doesn't look like – again, the thing that surprised me most about the baseball world is that there are no treasure chests for, for rainy days, and you lose 50, 60 games and all heck breaks loose. It's uh, – yeah, it's melting down right now. Yeah. It's not good. So it's not looking good for um, MLB. We'll see. Like I said, there's still a few days. I mean, if they could just simply work something out, get the money right, but – it's kind of a point where the players aren't going to make as much, the owners are going to lose, and so why are we in? Our, why are we going to do this? You know what I mean? Well, you do it because you want to continue on. You want to have things have things going. You want to you want to be you know. You don't want to have a, a look at the the history of the game and have all these blanks. You know, like a, no baseball. Well, look, and baseball has rebounded. Finally. Yeah. But, I mean, you remember when they came back after 94. It was not good. Right. It was dark. Well, really, you know, it's interesting. I, I read more of this article on the 81 season. and There were a lot more work stoppages in the 70s. And then 81 was like the fourth one. And that, that one cut into the season. And that one was, um, yeah, that was, uh, that, that, that hurt. Because that was a turning point. I think... Television executives thought in 1981 that that all-star game was going to have gargantuan numbers, okay? Ratings and such. And this like is people when, were just salivating And this is when baseball did like a, the World Series did like a 30 rating 
and the game of the week was a big deal on Saturdays sure. with Tony Kubek and Joe Garagiola, and you sat there and you watched it, and you you couldn't wait for baseball, okay? Uh, well, this was at its heyday. Well, after that particular strike in 81, uh, that, that All-Star game, they didn't flock to it. And the World Series numbers were down 10%. And that started the downward trend of, of the game in, in a lot of ways and carried through into 94. But I think when people point to 94, they're really, they really ought to go back 13 years and look at what happened in the 70s and 80, 81, because I think that's where baseball sort of lost its American pastime moniker. Yeah. I mean, they're, I, yeah. they're playing with fire right now. Right. Right. A couple other notes. and We're going to talk to Irish Ophel at 8. We've got Doc Murphy coming up here in just a couple minutes. Uh, Marvin Wilson is not happy. Neither are the FSU players. Um, as Mike Norvell, the head coach, who seemingly had done everything, you know, right. In the, yeah, for the most the part. Off the field. Um, apparently told a little bit of a boo-boo lie and in an article in The Athletic. If what Marvin Wilson is saying is true. Well, I, and all, I'm inclined to take him at his word. Well, because all the other players are jumping right. on Twitter yeah, saying, I'm yeah. inclined to believe him. Yeah. Then Mike Norvell lied. Yeah, he said he communicated, quote, individually. And by the way, the author of the article has also come out and said, yeah, he, we taped it. That's exactly what he said. Uh, he communicated individually with every player on his team about racial injustice and inequality. Um, Marvin Wilson, who is a fifth year, or I don't know if he's a fifth year, but he's a senior. He came back. For this year, he'll be a first-round pick. Absolutely. So he's definitely a team leader. Said, so, yeah, that never happened. Uh, we got a uh, uh, a text, and that's it. And so he's got some explaining to do. We're not going to work out. He, uh, uh, Marvin Wilson tweeted this, man, this bleep did not happen, Maine. We got a generated text that was sent to everybody. There was no one-on-one talk between us and Coach. This is a lie. I mean, my teammates as a whole are outraged, and we will not be working out until further notice. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's not good. So, a uh, little bit of um, upheaval, I guess, in in Tallahassee. And look, well, and because you read the quote from Mike Norvell from the Athletic, uh-huh. it's like three paragraphs. And if he's lying about it, then it sounds like he's just trying to make himself look like he's doing the work. Ouch! And not actually doing the work to, <clears throat> you know, have the conversations everybody yeah. says people need to have right now. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> we'll see what comes of that. I suspect. That we're going to have a um, statement at least released by Mike Norvell. And it's curious as you sit here and try to figure out what exactly he's going to say. Because, I mean, does he just sit there and say, I misspoke. You know, I didn't mean that. I I will. You know, I don't know. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays that uh, going forward. So uh, that's some of what's going on in the sports world. Obviously, we talked about Drew Brees. We'll talk about that more uh, throughout the morning uh, as well. We got Doc Murphy, though, coming up here in just a couple of minutes. So we're going to get some thoughts from him on what's going on on injury wise and what's the latest of Southeast Orthopedic Specialist, the best in the biz. Uh, Beef, do we have a giveaway today? Yeah, man. We're we uh, going to hook up the Googans. One lucky Googan to take home a Chick fil A prize pack that includes oh. Oh. lunch for two on us. All right. Well, there you go. We'll do caller number four right now at 641 1010. 641 1010. If you'd like to go to CFA. Uh, Chris Reimer won't be going today after his two burrito performance yesterday, but he'll be back again next week. They're delicious, but it's just too much. It's a lot. It's a lot.